Hello and welcome to update 13 on what is now post-tropical cyclone Dorian at 49.4 degrees north, 60.6 degrees west, as 1500 UTC this September the 8th. We're going to be getting into the CDPS scale now, and it is still a stage 5 on there, with wind speeds being significant, still at 80 miles per hour, the storm being very large, 300 nautical miles on one of its wind fields, quadrants, uh, the northeastern one. Rainfall, relatively low, overall storm potential though. Uh, its land is high-ish. It's a stage 5, that is what we have. Devastating damage is possible. 80 mile per hour winds and 961 millibars are the wind and pressure. You can see it right here in just how large it is. You can see it for scale right now, and you can just see it is a very, very large storm now. La Romaine at 27 miles away from the storm center. Kizeska, 34 miles away. Corner Brook, 45 miles away. Anchor Point, 200 miles away. And Sydney is 255 miles away from the storm. All of these areas are receiving tropical storm conditions right now, um, even though some of them are so far away. You can see the warnings right now. A hurricane warning is in effect for eastern Nova Scotia, from Ethan Zuko to rural uh, western Newfoundland, from Indian Harbor to Hawk Bay. You can see a hurricane watch is in effect for other areas, and you can see tropical storm warning areas as well. So you can see GFS precipitation over the next five days showing the storm moving out of Canada and really just um, losing itself. It uh, really does weaken away. Uh, very little rotation is left with it. You can see Gabrielle there on the right side of your screen. Uh, as it does move off the screen, transitions to being an extra tropical cyclone. And here we are with sea surface temperatures. Very low, 16 degrees Celsius or so. And Dorian's winds are not being produced due to tropical forces anymore. They're being produced due to baroclinic forces. You can see the wind field according to the GFS, and they're expecting uh, Dorian to be a post-tropical storm for a little while, uh, which is kind of surprising before the storm does pretty much die off. You can see Gabrielle there um, kind of really interacting with the trough, um, and you can kind of see where it's being steered and how it's being steered. A uh, very interesting situation indeed. You can see all the locations mentioned, mentioned previously do have a 100% chance of tropical storm conditions because they are receiving tropical storm conditions. So all of these areas are receiving at least 40 mile per hour winds. Connor Brook actually receiving some hurricane wind gusts. Uh, you can see uh, the models here. These are a little old, about a day old, um, but still uh, relatively accurate. Wind shear has skyrocketed as predicted. Intensity has held on surprisingly. Um, more than I think most people were expecting by this point. Sea surface temperatures have fallen off a cliff um, and relative humidity is uh, relatively uh, low. It's on the decline as this heads northward. You can see on its satellite presentation all of the uh, clouds are on the western side really as this does have tons of shear. You can also just see the sheer scale of this storm. It is extremely large. Um, and it uh, almost extends all the way uh, north to south through Canada's entire length. So the storm is huge, about 500 nautical miles um, is how large it is. Um, that might even be an understatement by this point. You can follow our outlets. First of all, the website, force13.com, with new articles coming out all the time for your reading pleasure about all things weather. YouTube.com forward slash force13 with our tropical weather bulletins, animations, and tropical updates. You can also find us on Facebook for more information on those things. And then also on Twitter, we have the U.S. branches and AU branches on there as well, but you can see the URL below. Teespring.com slash store slash force13. That's where you can find things like the smug mug to buy. And finally, the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash force13 where you can support the project and help it become even better.